So I just hit an all-time personal record for most amount of views on a video at 120,000 and I'm honestly speechless at just how much money this video has made me. Especially considering that 120,000 views is by no means viral in the YouTube world. So today we're gonna get into it. So here's the truth. Most people think that most of the money that you make from YouTube comes from ads. And to a degree it can, but if you're strategic about setting up your online business, AKA your YouTube channel, you can make a lot more than just the Google AdSense. And I'm gonna show you that today because with 130,000 views, my video only made me $1,800 in Google AdSense. So today I'm gonna to be 100% honest, dig into the numbers for you and show you how a small YouTube channel like mine can still make a decent amount of money without even having to have a video go viral. With that being said, hello there, my name is McCall and I'm so glad you're here. On my channel we talk about all things online business and wellness. I especially love it when those things uh, interconnect, but I would love for you to hang out and subscribe to my channel. I would also love for you to hang out with me on Instagram, we have a lot of fun over there, it gets a little more spicy. Um, so please connect with me and let's get right into it. So I want to be clear, I'm not sharing these numbers to show off or brag or anything like that. I'm simply trying to inspire you because I know these types of videos really inspired me as a new creator when I was just starting out my YouTube channel feeling like, how am I ever going to get to, you know, 100,000 subscribers, 500,000 subscribers, and make a decent amount of money off of YouTube. After all, I'm relatively new to YouTube. I've made less than 20 long form videos and I've really only posted consistently as in once a week for the last two months. So I am just starting my YouTube channel growth and so hopefully my channel will continue to grow but I want to inspire you as a small creator like I am now to just pull back the curtain a little bit and be really transparent about how much you can make. I'll link a video here if you wanna see more about my YouTube journey. Now, if your goal is to blow up and have millions of subscribers to be kind of social media famous, this video is probably not for you, my channel's not for you. That's not my intent with my YouTube channel or any of my social media accounts or my online business. My goal is to A, help people by educating them on what I can and B, make enough income to support my family, leave my nine to five and have time freedom. I don't need to be filthy rich. I don't need to live in a mansion or drive a Lamborghini. I simply need to make enough to have time freedom with my family. I'm not looking to be social media famous. And with that, I want to be very clear also that number of followers do not equate to how much money you make. I recently saw an account that has 500,000 subscribers come out and make a very vulnerable post that they were in the red this year and they weren't making anything from their channel. So I just want to be very clear with that. It's all about the strategies that you put behind it and followers does not equal amount of income. It also doesn't equal the amount of impact and help that you're giving to other people. That being said, if you are on YouTube to help others and make a life changing amounts of income, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other plethora of videos that I already have in my catalog that can help you along your way. Now, when most people think about monetization from YouTube, they think about Google AdSense, which requires you to have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. I also talk about that in my YouTube journey video that I created. However, if you watched that video, you know that I am huge into alternate avenues of monetization here on YouTube. And for me, that really means selling your own digital products and affiliate links. And yes, AdSense is awesome. It's really fun to get that check. It's almost completely passive once you made the video up front. But the real money or the money that you can start making before you hit that 4,000 watch hours, 1,000 subscribers is through your own digital products and affiliate marketing. So as I mentioned before, on this video in particular, I made $1,894.82 from Google AdSense. My CPM or cost per 1,000 views was $36.88, which is almost as high as it comes. I'm gonna get into that a little bit later in the video. None of my other videos have come this close to CPM. So that's kind of cool that my one video that kind of took off had the highest CPM. Okay, so let's dive in a little bit deeper on the CPM, on the cost per thousand views, because I think that's important to understand when you're either deciding what your YouTube channel is gonna be about, or if you just realize, hey, not that much is gonna come from AdSense and I need to focus on affiliate marketing, my own digital products, brand sponsorships, all of those other monetization avenues. So let's just buzz through them very quick. So those prank channels, they make between 50 cents and $2 CPM cost per thousand, which is super low, bottom of the barrel. Vloggers, on the other hand, can make between two and $8 CPM, kind of depends on what kind of vlog style, traveling, family, things like that. 
Car stuff will make between $2 and $10 CPM. Gamers, it ranges quite a lot. It can be uh, between as low as 50 cents all the way up to $8 CPM. Finance is gonna be the highest with 14 to 38 CPM. I've seen it maybe go as high as 40 a few times. And that's why I was saying, you know, 36.88 is about as high as it, they come on that video that I am demonstrating in this video. And so those are just to give you an idea of how greatly um, CPM can vary based off the content that is in your video. So what factors into CPM? Really it's the content that you're talking about as well as the demographics of people who are watching your videos. Now my CPM on this video was super high because the majority of my viewers were coming from the United States, Canada, and different parts of Europe, which obviously those countries have the highest GDPs, have the highest amount of disposable income, and so advertisers compete in order to get viewers from those locations. So you're automatically gonna get a higher CPM if you have viewers from countries that have high GDP. Additionally, I also had a high CPM because the age range of those watching my videos were between the ages of 24 to 54, which is the highest paying bracket for viewers. If you have a kid's channel, they obviously pay a lot less because they're gonna have to convince their parents to buy whatever product or service the advertiser is advertising on your video. Additionally, this video is very lengthy. It was a masterclass, and if you pass the 10 minute threshold on YouTube, you're able to put ads not only at the beginning of your video, but throughout the duration of your video, which obviously right there from the get-go really increases the amount of potential Google ad revenue that you can get in that video. Now, before we get into how much I made from affiliate marketing, I wanna be very clear that I only promote softwares, courses, products, services, of those things that I personally use and love. I personally never promote anything that I haven't personally used and personally loved myself. That's not always the case out there, but I wanna be clear about that because it's a means that I can talk authentically about the product and also share my personal experience. So I keep that in mind as you decide what affiliate products to incorporate in your YouTube videos. Make sure it feels natural and that it's something that you've also used and loved yourself. One example of this is Flowdesk. I love Flowdesk. I talk about it all the time. It is the easiest, most beautiful email marketing system out there. I know I've used like six or seven in the past and I have a 50% discount for Flowdesk if you want to use them. So I get to offer a discount to my viewers and I get a small kickback from Flowdesk and so it's a win all the way around. Okay, so how much did I make from affiliate marketing from this one video? Are you ready for it? I made $6,608 off of affiliate revenue, which is more than three times the amount that I made from Google AdSense. Now, just over a thousand of that was from different softwares that I was promoting in that video. And just over 5,500 was from a course that I had personally loved and had taken as well, and that I was promoting in that video as well. I am a huge fan of high ticket affiliate marketing. And if you would like a whole separate video on that, please let me know in the comments. I'm already thinking about doing one, but if you put it in the comments, I just know that it needs to make it up higher in my priority list. So from this one video alone, I made over $8,500 and counting, which blows my mind because that's more than I made in a single month as my nine to five job as a hospital administrator. It has completely changed the way that I think about money, about making money, about how you make money. Right? You don't have to trade your hours for money. You can do all the work up front and it could pay off none or it could pay off a ton. Now, I wish that I could make a video every single month that would make me that much money. And <laughs> the truth is that I'm still learning. I don't know yet how to make that kind of profitable video every single week, but just imagine if that was possible. And that's what I'm striving for, right? So I could either trade 160 hours of my time for $8,500 at my nine to five, or I could trade, this video took me about seven hours to create from drafting the script, filming, editing, everything like that for the same amount of money. So it has completely changed the way that I look about making money. It is what has inspired me to be an entrepreneur. And just a reminder, I had less than 1,000 subscribers at the time that this video came out. So I just want to inspire you that it is very possible for a small channel to make a decent amount of money from a video or multiple videos, even as a small channel. And honestly, I let fear hold me back for too long from starting my YouTube channel, putting myself out there, putting myself in front of the camera. Like why would people wanna to listen to me, right? I had a traditional nine to five, I was a hospital administrator, all this stuff. 
And it's like, why would they want to listen to me? But that's exactly why they want to listen to me. That's exactly why they want to listen to you, right? You want to be relatable. I was starting from nothing. I didn't know what I was doing. You're maybe starting from nothing and you don't know what you're doing. Or maybe you're making a channel about something you know a lot about, which is really cool too. But I'm just saying, don't let that fear hold you back. The truth is, is that I have something valuable to share and you have something valuable to share with the world. My definition of a success is simply spending as much time with my family as possible, being able to travel, visit family, homeschool my kids. That's what I want to do. And if I make enough money to do that, that's a win. That's a success in my book. So think about what your definition of a success is and use that to analyze the metrics and the outcome coming from your YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has given me so much confidence and has just sparked my online business journey and launched it out into the world and completely changed my life. And if you are interested in high ticket affiliate marketing, if you are interested in online entrepreneurship, online business, I have a free web class down below that you can watch. Um, so either comment, learn down below and I'll reply directly to your comment with the link or just click the link in the description below. Now, my favorite metric from this video is actually watch hours because this is showing just how much of an impact I had in actually educating people. This video has garnered over 13.3 thousand watch hours, which is so cool to me. That's the same as if you were to sit down and watch one of my videos or some of my videos back to back 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for 18 months straight. And just putting that in perspective is so awesome to me because my whole point with my YouTube channel, my online business is to help people. And so that's why I love this metric so much. So to wrap this all up, yes, it is possible to have life-giving income from your YouTube channel, even with a small amount of subscribers. You don't have to be the smartest, the richest, the most talented. You just have to provide value, whatever that looks like. You need to educate, you need to entertain, you need to inspire. So I just want you to get started. If there's something holding you back, just go ahead and get started. Look into affiliate marketing. Again, if you are interested in high ticket affiliate marketing as an online business, especially in the wellness space, go ahead and watch that webinar down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.